All right, hey Capricorn. So you guys, I am doing a messages from the person on your mind. It's a quick energy check-in just to see where things are going, how things are aligning between you and them. And you're gonna know this is your read by the current situation um, that I pull and the person's energy that is on your mind space. So if you don't resonate with that, you guys, please check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you'll subscribe if you like my energy. So you guys are coming through with let your friends help you and love yourself first all right so here's what i'm going to say as far as this dynamic coming through here you could have met somebody through friendships um through partnerships um in business whatever family um i'm almost feeling like let your friends help you um it could be too that you are communicating with friends about this a situation that feels kind of tough all right. I don't feel like it's tough um, as far as the decision to kind of channel your, your energy back into yourself. I'm almost feeling like some of you guys are not ready to take a leap of faith when it comes to the love dynamic. However, you could be feeling pressure or pressurized from certain people um, in this dynamic. Um, I'm almost feeling like you're in a situation and you're, I almost feel for whoever I'm talking to, you could feel a lot of pressure from the people around you. Um, and you're over here in that love yourself first dynamic saying, um, I don't know what I want yet. I'm almost feeling like there's some sort of a connection. I, I'm just going to see what's happening here. Uh, I haven't had to clarify. Um, you have the eight of coins coming through, so it could be a work dynamic. And then you got the 10 of sword, the 10 of wands and the four of swords, Gosh, I feel like there's somebody that I feel like somebody's being pressured into your life and you're not quite ready for this connection to happen yet. Um, it could be the person themselves kind of pressuring them or pushing themselves into your life when you're not ready yet. That dynamic could be rules reversed, but it's almost like, um, I don't know if you're grasping at straws, you're looking at friendships to kind of help guide you. I just feel like you're kind of up in the air. You don't know what to do right now. Um, I really don't, I don't know what's more to say about this. I feel like you're, you're entering a dynamic that you're not ready for. Um, who is this person? Who is this person? Gosh, you know, when a relationship is forced, there's, there's nothing that we can do. I'm going to pull that card. Um, we got four down here. So we have the hangman, which is Virgo. They could be a Virgo. Um, the page of pentacles, earth energy. We have this queen of wands showing up right here. And this is Aries, Pisces. And then we have Taurus with the five of pentacles. All right. So here's what I'm going to say. This person's energy. I feel like you could have dealt with this person beforehand. Um, it's almost like a blast from the past is coming back through. Maybe somebody left you hanging. Maybe you left them hanging. Um, I feel like this dynamic is something you've you've experienced before. Um, the Five of Pentacles in reverse is um, that's it's I I don't know if you guys have experienced some sort of dynamic beforehand, but the Page of Pentacles represents learning from the past mistakes and failures, and we have this Queen of Wands energy too, and I almost feel like this is this person how they feel towards you. I feel like there might be more of an attraction on this person's end than what you're ready for. Okay. And I'm just going to leave it at that. I mean, I think I could talk about this dynamic forever, but I just really feel like you're not feeling it. So let's see what they want from you. What does this person want from you? What do they want? We have the three of pentacles. That's building. It's growing. It's shaping into a form of success. Look at that. They want, they want to move forward with you. All right. And this King of Cups coming through right here, it came through in reverse. And I almost feel like you're not opening up. Um, it's almost like you don't have enough room in your heart space for anything right now, or you just don't want to. I just feel, I cannot help but feel like, you know, look at this, this King of Cups showed up in reverse. We have love yourself first. And I keep on going back to that card because I feel like you're not ready for something that maybe outside energies are trying to um, put on you. All right. Um, so let's just see what you need to know about this connection. What do you need to know about this connection? Um, we have the three of swords, the ace of wands, the ten of swords. I, I kind of feel like, uh, here's what I'm going to say, Capricorn. I feel like if you're entertaining somebody who has more of an attraction or more, um, they feel, they, they kind of seem like they're more, um, into you than you are to them. Um, I, you know, I kind of feel like you, what you need to know is it's probably best to um, bypass, I'll say bypass the situation 
before like heartbreak um or some sort of a karmic link attaches itself to this and i don't really believe full heartedly into um karma and i'm going to do a video and explain why but i almost feel like because people and their fear of karma i feel like there could be a karmic link attached to this and i almost feel like you're not ready for it man and you just got to be open and verbal so let's just see what's happening in the next 30 to 60 days the next 30 to 60 days look at that we have the seven of swords this is um this you got to open up the high priestess card i just feel is is don't bottle up your energy don't bottle up your feelings you got to express yourself all right the page of wands is coming through and i feel like you know if you're not ready for this connection um it's no hard feelings um you might hurt somebody capricorn i feel like the energy is yours i feel like you might hurt somebody you might experience a tower moment um, or you might save yourself from a tower moment if you kind of um, release the situation that you feel maybe doesn't belong to you. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to grab some messages um, from this person. Or maybe you just need to hear the messages that come through. I'll say it like that. All right. You got somebody that's really into you. I just feel like you don't, you're not quite ready. And it's not that there's anything wrong with this person. I just feel like you're not ready for it. You're just, I, I don't want... I want to focus on me. I will always treasure the times we had together. I admire your willingness to help others. The people you love are very lucky to have you. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody um, who definitely is looking at you. I admire your generosity and you inspire me. This person's definitely looking at you with um, sparkles in their eyes. But don't feel bad, you guys. Don't feel bad if you feel like you need to cut this connection short and you're not ready or you just don't want to. You you don't need to feel bad about that. Let me adjust this camera a little bit. I'm going to pull some more messages just to see what comes through. And again, if it's if you don't resonate the messages with this person, um just uh you know, it might be something that's that you need to hear um at a different angle. All right, it is only normal to miss someone who is dear to you, but remember love knows no separation. You may be physically apart, yet spiritually you are always united. Those um, you love are forever present in your heart, and that could be in relation to something else that's kind of lingering on your mind. Your love life will transform when you learn to truly love yourself just as you are. You are perfect just the way you are. Look at that. Love yourself first. Accept this and you will be amazed by the changes it brings into your life. And, you know, I, and again, I just I keep on going back to this dynamic where you're kind of having this self-realization and it could be too that you're going through a new journey, a new soul journey um, and and slowly but surely things are kind of breaking away old patterns, old beliefs, old people um, and you're just not in alignment with what I kind of feel is being it's it's um, an unforced but f feeling forced connection. That's how I feel about this. All right. So let's get some more Oracle messages. All right. So you have, look at that. The hottest love has the coldest end. Gosh, I just, I, you know, as I seen that ace of wands, I was like, Ooh, I wonder if they had sex. And then we had that 10 of swords and the three of swords, the hottest love has the coldest end. And then we have souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together. I feel like, you know what, you might not be feeling this connection as a deep, a deeper soul level connection. And that's okay, Capricorn, you're not going to hurt anybody's feelings, you know, and if somebody can't um, elevate themselves to kind of match your energy or be okay with that. You guys, I've, I'm on my own spiritual journey and I've had people, um, I've had my own interactions and I have to say that like, I'll talk to somebody of the opposite sex and I'm really friendly, but not, not, not leading anyone on. I've had people get upset at me because, you know, um, I'm like, my heart is just, it's somewhere else. It's completely somewhere else. Um, and I don't want, nobody deserves that hurt, right? Nobody deserves um, nobody deserves that. All right. So here's what I'm going to say. I feel like you guys um, might have entertained something temporary, which is a soul path that you were meant to go on. All right. But you have my beloved, though we may be physically apart spiritually, we're always united for love transcends um, space and time. Nothing is missing. I feel like you guys have somebody completely different um, on your heart space. It's just um, to navigate that dynamic. You can't you can't with the people and the energy around you. I just feel like you're stuck. You feel stuck. New beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. You know what you want. 
Capricorn, you're not obligated. You're not going to be tied down to this situation and you don't owe this person anything. So please don't feel like you are, don't feel like you are um, on the hook. All right, initials, we have B, A, Z, and H, E, and Q. You're the creator of your life. You guys determine your happiness. Take care.